Hey, hey, fine people. Thanks for checking out my video. Appreciates it. If you likes what you sees, please hit the like and subscribe button. Welcome. Journey. Entering. Let's go. We got this, this life where we want to be as happy as we possibly can. How do you do this, right? Do you want to just kind of hover above rock bottom your mm -hmm. whole life? Or do you want to like go for it? And to me, that stuff, it's, it's so fascinating that we, we overthink everything. Oh, yeah. And, and all, if, if it would just be, hey, I also know that the easiest way to get what I want in the world is to form alliances and, and form strong relationships with people. So rather than point the finger and hate and prejudice and, and do all this stuff that's going on right now in the world, I'm going to just say, hey, how do we come together and how do we work together and build momentum together? and help accomplish my goals. I help you accomplish yours. And then as you know, somebody that gives back, it, it's a magical thing. You, you help somebody and then they go out of their way mm -hmm. to help sure. you and, and do all these things, right? And we're overthinking it. And I love that. I love that you're writing a book about this. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the first mistake is there's a lot of times when we talk about overthinking, but people tell you to stop overthinking or don't do it, get out of your head but why would I ever turn off this beautiful, efficient machine that is my brain? Like, first of all, you're not going to be able to. It's much better to just program it with things that are helpful. Like, instead of thoughts that hold you back, thoughts that propel you forward. So, that, so that's the first thing you have to kind of think through is, it's not about stopping overthinking. It's about figuring out how to use your thoughts for you versus against you. There's not this, I turn them off completely. Like, that's impossible, it's not possible. which is... It's not I'm possible. And then, that. Like people get so stressed at that because what happens is they turn them off for a minute or maybe 10 minutes or whatever. Right. And then, then they come back and they go, I failed. The new thing I tried didn't work. I better find a new thing and a new thing and a new thing. And they jump through this smorgage board, this buffet of self-help, always trying to think, okay, I can turn off my overthinking. And my, my opinion there is I'm amazing at thinking, why would I stop that? What if instead I just thought the things I want to think and I chose my thoughts. And so that's, I mean, that's one of the core principles that came out in the research, came out in the two years of working on it. Mm. And it all, again, it all ties back to that mindset, right? Working on that, getting yeah. that mindset working for instead of against you. Um, right. Whatever we resist persists. That's a law of the universe that you can't cheat mm -hmm. or get around. So when you say, you know, don't try to stop those thoughts, like people think, I used to hear that growing up, you know, I've read a zillion self-help books and oh, totally. I, I, I've, 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 I've definitely read that several times, you know, thought stopping and whatnot, but you're, you're right. I mean, that doesn't work on its own. I mean, no, yes, it's, a... it's better to have a different thought that's going than to try to stop. A th like, I don't like, it's better to replace it and go, now I have replace this it. versus like going, I'll forever not do this. I would much rather you have, I mean, Every, like there's so many books like Simon Sinek's why is ultimately about uh, I know uh, why I'm doing this thing so I had this other thing that wasn't fulfilling that wasn't satisfying now I've replaced it with this thing that really is and it's going to drive me I have a why he doesn't say don't have desire he doesn't say don't have a core like if you've got a bad mission he doesn't say don't you know get rid of your mission he says find the best mission find that one and so yeah. it's the same with your thoughts you don't go I hate these thoughts. I shouldn't think this way. You say, how do I want to think? And how do I build that? What is, you know, how do I make sure that that's something that I, that I care about, that I'm deliberate about. And so that, to me, that's, that's one of the keys. And I guarantee you and I have read a billion of the same books. Like we, I mean, For there's sure. a lot of overlap. In and that's Simon Sinek. You just mentioned, that's one of my favorite. Um, and I love how you tied that in. Yeah. I mean, connecting to your why, I mean, it's, yeah. it's just such like a higher level, Anybody that like, you know, is, is thinking up here versus down in the weeds with everybody else, I just love. And that is such one of those. Oh, it's great. Um, yeah, I mean, 100%, you know, connecting to your why, trying to figure out, you know, right, well, you know, what's working, what's not. And again, it kind of goes back to that, that spotlight and, right, you're shining in your life and then back to habits. And it's like, okay, totally. this isn't working for me. And so the, the stop part needs to be catching yourself. But not just like you're saying, it's stop and just like an improv comedy, right? Exactly. They always had an and. Stop yep. and. Okay, this thought is bad and. And then mm -hmm. what? And what's yeah. the one that we're replacing it with? And then like we were just saying with habits and stuff, and then your mind, your mind is, it forms habits just like anything else, or I should say your mindset. 
is a habit just like anything else. And literally your mindset, if you start replacing those over and over with what you actually want to be thinking, it's that front loaded thing. It's not going to work at first, the T-Rex. Yep. But yep. if you stick with it, then you are going to start thinking. But you have to do the want. work. Like you have to do like 99% of people don't do work about how they think. They assume every thought they have is true. And then they just accept it. The thoughts arrive and show up on their own accord versus going, no, I control my thoughts. I'm in control of my thoughts. I own my thoughts. Um, and it's, so it's like anything else. If you and I, you know, say you and I, um, we're both interested in karate. And for a year, I took karate lessons and you didn't. Guess who's going to be awesome at karate at the end of the year? I am. Like, I've put in the work. So when right. people are like, I want to change my thoughts, I'm like, well, let's, let's put in the work. I want to grow a business. Well, let's put in the work. And if somebody go like, whenever somebody goes, uh, like, oh, I don't have any time to chase my dreams. I'm like, well, let me see your phone. Let's check screen time. Oh, man, you did 14 hours last week on Netflix. Like, that's more, that's almost two full work days. Like, this isn't a mystery, dude. Like, you have time. Like, you, like, we're all too busy. I get it. But I guarantee that there's some things you're donating time to that aren't benefiting you. And I'm not against Netflix. I like shows, but I'm against anything that unknowingly takes bulk amounts of my time 